Hi, my name is Kay Sanders. I'm a medical social worker at UofL Hospital. Self-care is taking some time out for ourselves, listening to what our body needs, and taking care of our mental health as well. Self-care is important because if we don't take care of ourselves, no one else can do that for us. And if we don't take care of ourselves, then we're not gonna be very good to the people that we love and care about. If there's anything that we've learned this year, it is that we can't take our health for granted, but we can take some steps to take care of our health, to do some self-care, and really take charge of our health. First, we need to listen to our body. Relax when we need to relax. Make sure we're getting adequate sleep. Eat well. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables of all varieties, lots of different colors, and work toward eating a whole food plant-based diet and crowd out the highly processed junk food. Incorporate movement into our lives. Park a little further away Take the steps when you can, and try to do a little bit of exercise every day. The best exercise to do is the exercise that you like, because that's the exercise you're more likely to stick with. Work to find ways to manage stress in your life. Exercise is a great stress reliever, but also you can meditate, do relaxation exercises, do deep breathing, or my favorite, yoga. Do a gratitude journal. List five things every day that you're grateful for. After you do this practice for a while, you will start to rewire your brain and you'll find gratitude is a much bigger part of your life. Make meaningful connections, not just social media, but truly meaningful connections. Certainly it's harder now that we're dealing with a pandemic, but we can use FaceTime, we can Zoom, or we can pick up the phone and call. We can send a note to someone special. And remember our companion animals, our dogs, cats, and other animals that live with us add so much joy to our life. These are just a few very simple things that we can incorporate into our lives every day so that we can really take charge of our health. 